If you're a rejected parent that's being pushed away by your child and they're angry at you after a separation, divorce, or custody battle, and you don't know why, I'm about to share with you the two most powerful words you will ever know as a parent. Because underneath the surface of these two words lies the understanding of what's going on and the secret to getting your child back. And here's what's so frustrating. The two words I'm about to share with you are two words that are barely recognized in the court system, in the legal system. Lawyers don't know about it. Judges don't acknowledge it. Social workers can't identify it. And family therapists and reunification counselors can't see it. And the ones that do see it as incredibly rare and typically blame you, the parent, who's being shut out and who's innocent. And the problem is that if you're a parent and you know these two words, likely you've done bottomless research, going down the rabbit hole, trying to find an ounce of hope, trying to find answers and solutions. And all you're finding is academic theory, confusing words, things that don't apply to real life, and others telling you the child is too far gone. It's not possible to reconnect. All from people who haven't actually lived in that world like a child has. And that's why you need to listen to what I'm about to say. My name is Ryan Thomas, and for over two decades, I had a blackout relationship with my dad. No communication, no love, just rejection. All because my mom and her side of the family that I call the regime strategically planted seeds to brainwash me, to make sure that the relationship between me and my dad completely dissolved over time. They convinced me that I didn't want my dad. They made me compliant with their wishes to destroy the relationship with him. I did the rejecting, but ultimately, it was them that did not want my dad involved in my life. And now, over the past 20 years, after becoming an expert in conflict resolution, crisis management, communication, adversity, and repairing relationships between parents and children in over 25 countries, not theory, all personal, real, raw experiences, I'm bringing everything I know to you to make sure that you get your child back. No matter how old they are, no matter how long it's been, no matter the circumstances, there is hope. It is possible to get your child back. My dad and I are living proof of it. So here are the two most powerful words you will ever know as a parent. Parental alienation. Let me say it again. Parental alienation. This is the name of what you may be experiencing. This is the name of what happens when one parent turns the child against the other parent. The controlling parent who is doing the alienating has all of the influence over your child and is channeling their anger, their hatred, and their resentment of you into destroying the relationship with your child. Now, maybe you did something wrong. And they're angry and they're using that against you to hurt the relationship with your child. That's parental alienation. Or they're completely making up false stories about you, making sure the child feels that you don't love them and that they can't love you. That is parental alienation. And I want to pull back the curtain for a minute and show you exactly what's happening behind the scenes that you can't see. See, often children are like puppets on a string of a controlling parent, and it goes undetected if you don't know the signs to look for. And parental alienation is child is repeatedly told a story that one parent is good and the other one is bad. And every situation then reinforces this story. If the bad parent steps back to give the child space, they're told they don't care about you, they're abandoning you. And if they show up to engage as a parent, the child is told, look, they're controlling, they're overstepping, they're causing drama and anxiety, oh, they're toxic. This creates a loyalty to the controlling parent and guilt and shame within the child for wanting to have both parents in their life and fear because the child knows it's not acceptable to love this bad parent. And there are consequences if they do. This causes them to be compliant and reject the bad parent. But within the child, this creates behavioral issues because they can't express love and desire for both parents and they're angry and frustrated. So their schoolwork begins to suffer. They begin to be isolated from other family and friends and then it's easy to blame you for their failing grades, the lack of interest in sports or activities or their angry outbursts. 
and the situation increases their dependency on the good parent. Can you relate to any of this? And if it's not bad enough, here's what everyone sees on the outside world. On the outside world, the bad parent is to blame for all of the stress. The child insists they don't want to see the bad parent to avoid the chaos. And the alienating parent insists that the child's wishes be taken seriously. And just like that, contact is limited. Then third parties like counselors and therapists, they validate the good parent, bad parent role. And the child feels that they have no opportunity to say what they really want. So they become silent. So by all appearances, the child is justifiably pushing you away. And then you become ostracized by other parents, teachers, family, and friends. And the longer this goes on, the more the story solidifies and becomes real to everyone. And the saddest part is that parents like you are going through this feel completely alone, right? You're embarrassed to say you don't see your child. Others look at you with judgment, wondering what you did. And even friends and family eventually get tired of listening to your pain. So it's lonely and isolating. And here's the harsh reality. Every single person you have sought out to help you with this problem is actually your biggest enemy because they don't understand the very problem you face. Odds are you've invested thousands of dollars in legal fees and the outcome was not in your favor. Or you were awarded parenting time, but the child refuses to see you. So in that case, a win really isn't a win because you can't enforce it. Or you spend time and money on therapy trying to make yourself feel better and help cope and convince yourself that you are worthy of your child, even though they continually slip away. Yet after all of the money and all of that time, not one single person can look at you honestly in the eye and say, I understand exactly what you're going through. Because guess what? They don't. Which is why what you're doing isn't working. In fact, it's actually pushing them further away and making the gap wider. Because they're giving you solutions to a problem they don't understand. Which means they aren't solutions at all. And their limited understanding and their negative beliefs about what's possible for you are leading you down the wrong path. It's as simple as that. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. But I'm here to tell you that there is hope for you. There is opportunity for you. And I want to leave you with real stories of real parents just like you that have had breakthroughs, reconnections, and reunifications with their children. They too were confused. They sought answers. They found real solutions to get their child back. And that's where you are right now. You're searching for answers. You now have a name. It's called parental alienation. It is real, it is powerful, and it is deadly to the relationship with your child. So this idea of parental alienation is a lot and you probably have a lot to unpack now that you have a name for it and you start connecting the dots yeah this makes total sense or maybe you've heard parental alienation before but you've never heard it from a child who was actually on the receiving end of parental alienation and somebody who's actually discovered the truth discovered the lies and manipulation and put together the relationship with that parent who was able to see, I get it, it's parental alienation. I do wanna have a relationship with this parent that I have completely rejected for years and years and years. And so my dad and I have an amazing relationship to this day. I love him so much and everything makes sense now. So as you're unpacking this and you're trying to come to terms with your situation and this new understanding and this new perspective, I want to leave you now with some real life stories of hope, of real people, real parents who have been just where you are and have made that reunification. So I'm Ryan Thomas. I thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope this helps. I look forward to talking to you in the future. And here now are some stories of hope. My name is Susan and I've been alienated from my son for three years. And after working with Ryan Thomas, I've had some really great breakthroughs. Currently, I've been reunited. We're about one month into it. I'm feeling so grateful and empowered by his information and insight. My counselor I was seeing told me to give up on the child. He's 
drank the Kool-Aid just to give up and that hopefully when he grew up, he would come back to me and I refused to accept that as a solution. What I would say to parents out there is to never, ever give up. Keep reaching out to your child. However you can get contact out to that child that you're trying, even if you get nothing in return. And just like Ryan said, to take breaks if you need it and take care of yourself. I just stumbled onto Ryan on the Internet trying to learn as much as I could about parental alienation, and I'm so grateful that I found him. So thank you. Jennifer says, this is the biggest breakthrough I've had in years. I took your suggestion and my son agreed to sit at the dinner table every other visit, which he did. Then he started having dinner and talking with me on other days as well. We kind of felt like a normal family for a little bit. Ron writes, Ryan, I got my daughters back thanks to you. You helped me see what I couldn't see. Thank you so much. Seriously, it made a huge difference. He said, your advice and guidance is brilliant. Carolyn said, Ryan, I can't thank you enough for helping us reconnect with our son and two grandchildren after five years. You have forever changed our family. She said, we are babysitting this weekend. Can't believe it. Rhonda says, this will be a Christmas to remember for our family. Spending the holidays with my daughter after 14 years. Anne says, happy holidays to you, Ryan. I have seen so many miracles after implementing your plans, suggestions. When I let go is when it worked. Letting go, prayer, and your strategies is making all the difference for me today. Keep up the message. I have my two daughters, age 14 and 17, for Christmas. I'm so grateful for you. Josh says, I tried one of your strategies and had a big breakthrough. I asked him some of your questions via text message and it resulted in an hour-long conversation. My son wants to meet me in the nearest city. Ryan, you asked me to share my experience of what this past three to four years has been like and having no contact with my three children. So it was a complete blackout. I followed your rules and um, kept reaching out. Um... All my reach outs fell on total silence and it took me understanding to realize that their voices were robbed, that they were kidnapped and they were under a gag order in order to survive without having further emotional abuse by their mother. They live with a dirty little secret that they're not allowed to have communication with their father. My, my son is still on the other side of the wall. Um, I had broken through with my girls, and when spending time with them, it was as if time froze for the for all these years. Uh, they're they're older and they're they're mature young women. They brought back memories as if we were just picking up from where we left off. It was also a miracle to to learn that they they knew what was going on and that they were sitting on a mountain of anger. And they were in survival mode, self-preservation mode. In fact, they were sort of a version of what I was when I was married to the monster, where I walked on eggshells, not wanting to see the person have um, a hysterical fit. And, and for my son, like anything else in life, you can only control what you can control. And what you can control is what you can do. Giving up is never an option, and maintaining and continuing to reach out is something you can control. The response on the other side you can't control. My name's Brian. Ryan Thomas helped me in the last uh, couple of weeks uh, make contact with uh, one of my sons, uh, Archie. Actually, both my sons, Lewis and Archie. I've been separated uh, for approximately four years. And um, your circle of friends, that they don't really know what to do. You've got a few that are, you know, solid, a few that uh, might be judging you inside, a few that just, um, you know, they've got their own problems, their own life to deal with. So it definitely seems to be stacked against you. And when I found uh, Ryan Thomas, his plan, which is to keep reaching out, you know, but in a, in a, in a subtle way, I loved his messages, you know, don't think about... Um, don't think about your kids like that they're judging you, that they're hating you. Think about them that they're like in a, you know, like like captured. It was my older son's, uh, Lewis's birthday, and I had a lot of well-meaning friends. You know, don't give them money, don't give them presents, don't don't reach out, don't. But you know, you've got to be genuine. You know, you start to doubt yourself. So anyway, what Ryan 
also um, encouraged me to do is to wait for a right moment. I sent down a package. Everything I could remember that he liked, I put in that box. And he gave me this uh, e uh, text and he loved it. And yeah, he's, he's looking, looking forward to uh, hopefully catching up with me. I tell my partner this and I can't believe it and she can't believe it yet. It's just given me such hope because he said in the text, I love you, Dad, and I'll always love you. And it's just, it's, it's really amazing. And so I'd really recommend Ryan Thomas videos. It's so personal, you know, it's from the inside out. It, it just gives a different perspective. And um, yeah, I'm only doing this because um, I really, uh, yeah, it made me cry, really. And I, uh, I love what you're doing, Ryan. Thank you very much. Good luck, everyone. Bye. My name is Carolyn. For over four years, I was a rejected mom from my son, and I was kept from seeing my grandchildren. After working with Ryan Thomas, I now have a relationship again with my son, and I am finally getting the opportunity to be the grandma that I've always imagined being. Ryan's guidance and advice really helped guide me with decisions to say something or not say something or to do or not do something. He helped me keep my head on straight when I was falling apart and he gave me just the right words when the door was open to communicate with my son. He gave me a plan that I could follow so that I could get through to my son and help to open his eyes. If you are a rejected parent, mom or dad, I highly recommend Ryan Thomas because he knows what's in the mind of a child who rejects you. He has counterintuitive advice that works and he truly cares. I trusted him to help me through the most painful time of my life and he exceeded my expectations.